Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect character AI to Discord in 2023. So, of course, the character AI is a groundbreaking AI powered text to image generator and an integration with Discord through this seamless connection. So, you can of course transform your Discord server into a dynamic playground for AI powered conversations. So, make sure to stick by but dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, it's going to be Brave Browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. And of course, before even embarking on your integration journey, familiarize yourself even with the remarkable capabilities of character AI and its potential to Revolutionize, of course, your Discord server. Discover how characters AI advanced AI technology enables you to create and interact with AI powered chat bots that you can engage in meaningful conversations, answer questions, and even generate creative text formats. So, of course, you can go to this URL section basically and simply type character AI and hit the enter button. Once you do so, make sure to go and click on that as you can see. So, character.ai which is beta.character.ai and of course in here make sure to go to the top right corner and click on login to log in into your account if you have an account if you don't you'll have instead to click on sign up to create a new account which i will do in my case so if i go here and click on sign up as an example to create an account i can create my account using email address and password of course the login is going to be the same or you can use google facebook discord or Apple to create or even log in into your account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. You want to, of course, connect your character AI to Discord. First of all, let's just create your account with Discord. It will be better. So if you go here to connect with Discord, go and click on that. This should take you, of course, into this page to connect your character AI with Discord. As you can see, it's already like simple. It's already like connected. And I will even show you some additional steps uh, to integrate it into your server. So here's an example. This uh, connection will access will allow, of course, developers of character.ai to access your username, avatar, and banner, and access your email address. And of course, not bake a cake. So you can read the privacy policy in terms of servers if you want to. Then once you finish and agree to all of that, click on authorize. So once you click on authorize, as you can see, you'll be like logged in basically into your accounts. And uh, of course, once you enter your username and date of birth, because the username, that's something just you want to like uh, get. So for me, I'll just name myself like this name and date of birth, of course, month. I'll just do 0 to 20, uh, 20, 0 to. Why not? And click on understand and agree these policies, which is in terms of service and privacy policy. For you, make sure to read all of that, of course, to be aware of like what they're doing with your information. If you aren't interested about that, of course, if you don't care, you can just let this as it is. Then click on join character. So if this username is already exists, I'll just add a zero as an example. Click on join characters. And here we are. Now we have our account. If we go to the top right corner, as you can see, we'll find that we have an account. We can always, of course, go and get the c.ai plus, which is the character.ai plus. And of course, you'll have to log in, of course, to manage into your account. So then just uh, then you'll have to simply pay to get a better plan for you. For me, I'm not going to do so because I'm just to tell you if you are interested. For me, I'm not. So here's an example. You find like some recommended characters.ai this character.ai will recommend to you so as an example William Shakespeare in English uh, playwright poet and actor so if you click on that example you'll be able kind of to talk to him as you can see to be or not to be do you think that this, this question uh, so as an example uh, the question is an example I'll just say something like random so the question is do we really exist as an example and let's see so of course this like uh, William Shakespeare AI will talk to you differently other than other AIs as an example so this tells you like yes we do and life is hard but it would be worse if we didn't exist so the question 
Uh, so the question to answer is not to be or not to be, but how to find peace in this life full of chaos and suffering to live and enjoy what we have. That's the answer, my lord. So basically, they like trying to be like William Shakespeare on this conversation. Of course, you can go and talk to any other bot uh, other than that in here. Now, what you need to do, of course, is just go to your Discord. If you have it like downloaded, just go and open it up. If you don't have it downloaded, just uh, go and open it on your browser, depending on whatever suits you. And of course, in here, let's say, example, I'll just go and click on add a server, create my own. Uh, I'll just answer those questions. Yeah, click on create. I don't care about the settings and etc. So let's say that this is my server. Once, of course, you go and created your server, you'll be good to start for you. You can uh, create a server or join a server. Then you'll be able to invite the character AI bot to your server. And to do this, of course, you can go to the character AI website. And of course, like just something I just remembered, if you like want to create your own character, you can go to this last panel, click on create, you can create a character, a room, a person as example. So if you click on create a character, you'll have to give it a name, greetings, that should say, you can make it public, unless it's private, you can go and give it an image and etc. And of course, you can go and create and chat with it. You can even edit some details on advanced example. So as you can see, you'll be able to edit a lot of that. You can insert some chats uh, if you want to like uh, tell him how to talk and etc. So for me, I'm not going to do that at the moment. But of course, for you, you will uh, totally be able to do so. Basically, now you can go to your bots, of course, if you have some. If you don't, you'll have to go and create some to integrate to those bots into your and of course, then you'll have to simply go and of course, after that, you will have to create your character and simply go and share like the link on your Discord server so people can use your character. But if you want to like uh, add it in a different way, you can simply go and open a new tab and go simply to Discord. So go and type Discord like so let's type Discord correctly dot com slash developers slash docs slash intro let's hope i write everything like correctly yeah i did not write developers like correctly it should be e in here and i guess that's good to go so yeah if you're logged in into your account they'll not ask you to do anything if you're not you will be asked to log in into your account so go to the flex panel click on applications and here of course you'll have to create a new application give it a name give your character a name as an example I'll just give it test name or test bots Check this option click on create and of course of course you can add any like informations about your character even an image and etc you can set tags into it as an example then you can of course copy, like, copy this application id and public key and of course you'll be able now to use it on your server of course you can go here to even bot and give it some permissions if you want to and as simple as that so now you'll be able to include it into your server and you'll be good to go. So this is going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.